Man, if there's one thing about Florida, it's gonna rain when you don't need it to rain. It's gonna rain when you don't need it to. But you're responding playboys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys haven't seen my latest video of me installing my clutch, my stage three uh, action clutch, make sure you guys go watch that. It's a very informative video, especially if you wanna install your clutch or install a clutch. Um, it's pretty long, but it'll definitely help you. But in today's video, we're gonna be installing some hybrid goodies, man. Let me show you guys what I got. So the stock CMC and the stock slave, I don't think, I personally don't think it will be able to handle a stage three clutch for so long. So just to make sure I don't have any problems shifting and my, uh, my clutch master going out, because before it did feel a little bit weird when I used to start up the car and try to put it in first gear, it wouldn't want to go. So I'm just going to do the pre pre preventative cause, whatever it's called. I was, I'm just going to make sure I change it out before I have issues with it, especially with a stage three. Uh, you don't want that thing to go out while you're driving because that's going to suck balls. But yeah, man. These actually don't come with the, the, the lay valve, so it makes the pedal a little bit more stiffer, uh, more responsive, and actually just makes the overall driving experience better. Plus, it's hybrid racing. All right, guys, so it's gonna be pretty easy install. Well, the slave part is gonna be pretty easy. I think doing the clutch master is gonna be pretty pain in the butt because it is behind the, uh, behind the strut tower. Like, it's like right in there. You guys can't really see it, but man, that's gonna be fun trying to reach. Um, what I'm gonna do first is my battery can stay put because it's like way out of the way, but my intake is actually in my way. So I'm gonna remove my intake, uh, place it to the side, and then I'm gonna remove those two 12 millimeters. I don't know why I say millimeters like that. I'm gonna remove those two 12s, and actually, I'm gonna just keep it. Actually, I'm gonna keep one in, keep one in. So I can try to figure out how I'm gonna remove these lines. Cause if you guys do know, I do have a brake uh, relocation line. Not brake, uh, battery relocation line. So I don't have a hard line. I actually have a braided line already set there. Wait, what, where is it? Oh, there it is. So I already have a braided line. Um, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna like I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this part. But basically for you guys, if you guys don't have that, you're just going to disconnect everything. Um, if you want, you could cut the line. We'll make it way easier on removing it. I'm not doing that because I don't have a line cutter. But um, I'm trying to figure out how I can make this super easy for me to install. And it's not really coming to me right now. And it's hot. You guys can see the sweat on my face. But uh, yeah. I think I'm just gonna bolt the, unbolt that 10 millimeter that's holding the line in. I wish my camera will pick everything up, but it's so like dark outside and humid. But where is it? Where is it? Right there. If it will focus. I'm just gonna unbolt that 10 millimeter from the fire, well not the firewall, from the, yeah, whatever it's called. I'm just gonna unbolt it. So it'll be way easier for me to just move everything out. And uh, yeah, that should be it, bro. Then you got to go inside the car to remove, I think, the two 10 millimeters that's connected to the pedal. And uh, yeah, I'm having a brain fart, bro. It's too hot here in Florida to even think. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to continue this video tomorrow because I am getting tired of how, how dark it is outside. Plus, it's raining. But uh, I did manage a way to like route everything, and it makes sense in my head. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Um, this is the... What is this again? This is a slave that I just recently took out. Um, I had to remove my battery because I have no space down there. Thought I didn't, but I did. But I removed my battery. Um, took out the two, four, two uh, 12 mils. So now, let's see if I can pop the hood real quick and show you guys. It's raining. That's why like, I really don't want to work outside and have the rain hit the car. And Yeah, bro. It's going to just be a headache. But yeah, it's removed. So the way I'm going to like take out the line is that I unbolted, I unbolted the uh, 10 mil that was right here that was holding in the line. And now the line's touching the floor, which you guys can see right there. I need to actually extend this up so it doesn't like make a mess and stuff. So that's the line. So what I did, I followed the line up until where it got right here. And there's going to be another bolt that's holding um, 
your ECU sensor and stuff like that in. So basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna unbolt that as well. Make sure you put the bolt back because you don't wanna lose that. It would be not nice to have this just dangling around while you're doing pulls. And that's for your ECU. But um, I unbolted that so when I do take off the clutch master cylinder, I could just route it going down this way and underneath the trans. And I could probably slide it out underneath the, uh, underneath the what's it called, the uh, trans by just pulling that out by just pulling this clutch line out so that's the way i'm thinking i'm gonna do it and it sounds like it's gonna work i have enough space to actually do it and if i do need more space i'll probably just jack the car up on that side and just pull it out real quick but yeah man it, it seems like it's gonna work pretty pretty well but now i need to uh disconnect the cmc from the inside and i think that's two 10 millimeters but i don't want to do it right now because it's raining and I, I hate getting wet while I'm working on my car. Plus my tools, I literally just cleaned them. So like having them get dirty again, is gonna make me even like mad. It's gonna make me mad because I'm gonna have to clean them to make them unrusty again. So I'm just gonna wait, bro. Just gonna wait till tomorrow. And hopefully it doesn't look like how it looks right now. Cause this is, this is Florida and I hate it. All right, scratch that. You know how I said I was gonna finish it up tomorrow? I don't know what happened. I just started like, trying to take out the 12s and I took them out. And I was like, you know what, since I already took them out, let me just push everything back. So let me just show you guys how you remove those 12s. Um, show you what I used. Are they 12s? No, they're 10s. The 10s that hold in your CMC. So what I used was just a little extension. Whoa, I look crazy. Can you guys see me? I'm black. Damn. But yeah, I used the extension, a little, like, I don't know how big this is, but a small little extension. And then I used the, uh i don't even know what it's called right now bro i ain't thinking i'm just happy but yeah i use one of the 10s and an adapter for the 10 and i was able to get both of them out you guys will see it it's literally two two 12s i'll put a picture over here so you guys can really like see it because it's really hard for me to show you guys because it's so damn dark so after you guys remove those you're gonna have to take out a copper pin a cop a copper pin and one of these which i'm trying to show you guys but it's like the camera's doing a terrible job so one of these and a carpet pin that's gonna be attached it's gonna be on the left side did i just get pooped on bruh 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 a bird just pooped on me bruh what the f bro i need to go inside bro this is ridiculous but like i was saying you're gonna remove that carpet pin which is connected to i don't even know what this is called but it's connected to this which is connected to the to the cmc which is connected to the pedal so it's gonna be on the left side you guys will see i'll put another picture if i had a way to show you guys i would but there's no light outside and this is this is not going to really show you guys that well either but uh yeah man once you remove that you could bang on the cmc from the inside use your fingers because it's really simple you don't gotta use like no mallet and stuff use your fingers and push it out when you push it out uh see if you guys can see that you can basically just pull it out you're gonna have to wiggle it and pull it out and then you're pretty much good to go after that but now this is where I'm gonna stop the video and um, see you guys tomorrow, so see you guys. All right guys, day two, and it seems like every time I try to record this part of the video, it just wanna rain, so I'm just gonna uh, do the part that I'm gonna do. Um, I didn't record me taking out the CMC, like actually like pulling it out the car because it's raining and I'm not trying to get my camera wet. You guys can't really see it, but it is raining right now. Um, it's pretty easy. I pulled it out going like under the mount so if you guys want to do the same, you can do it. Or if you want, you can just cut your line. I didn't cut my line. My line is actually right here. So yeah, it's pretty easy to remove. So here's the stock CMC, and this is the part of the car, well, the part of the CMC that sucks balls. Is this little paint right here. They say this is the delay valve, but I don't know, but I just know that this is the part of the CMC that sucks. So also you can look and see how like, limp that is like it has so much play like this is nothing i'm not even pushing in right here is when i start pushing and that that's when you actually engage the cmc but before that this is just loose free play which is not what you need so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to switch over the stock rod that's in the cmc over to the em1 version from hybrid racing so what you need basically is this and that's only it and you gotta switch that onto this because this 
uh, rod is too long. And also, I don't know what this is called. I guess it's like the clamp. This is also too big. So you need everything from your from your stock CMC, which is the rod and the clamp. And that's it. So uh, yeah, uh, to take that out, where is my tool? Oh, to take that out, I'm gonna be using a pair of, what are they even called? Uh, C clamps, I guess, I don't know. Um, I forgot what they're called. But I think they're C clamps, hold on. Snap ring, snap ring pliers. So that's what I'm gonna be using to remove this seal that's in the CMC for both of them. It's that little black seal, I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh yeah, you guys can see that. Uh, I'm gonna remove that and do the same thing to EM1 and swap them out. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys, so let's do it, man. guys so here we go this is how it's supposed to look and have you guys heard drake's new album hey man that boy's going crazy but uh yeah this is how it's supposed to look looks brand new looks looks nice i ain't gonna lie Jeez. all right so now we get to put this back in the car actually first i have to mount up the banjo fitting so uh i'm just open this real quick All right, guys, so this is how I have mine mounted up. I have it going to the left because that's where your uh, CNC, not CMC, uh, that's where your slave is gonna be. So we're gonna want it to go to the left. So if you have it like this, it's supposed to be aiming to your left. I don't know how many times I just said to your left, but yeah, make sure it's aiming to your left. I don't wanna hear nobody be like, I messed up, bro. I can't reach it because I got it aiming the wrong way or it won't fit because I got it, I got it in the wrong way. But yeah, bro. I got mine literally towards the left, like completely. So don't mess up. Um, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna pre-bleed the system. So I'm gonna fill it up with some brake fluid and uh, pump it actually, pump it a little bit, not too much. Cause I already know it has tons of air because I keep going like this and it's just sucking in, sucking in air. So I'm gonna make sure I do that. All right guys, so the system's not pre-bled. Well, I guess you could say that. But uh, yeah, I filled it up with some fluid and I pumped it slowly and uh, everything went perfect. Yo, is this bird don't shut up? Oh my gosh. you guys so finally got it in it is right there there goes the 112 millimeter and the other one's like hidden over there to focus it's not gonna focus but it's over there kind of kind of can see it but yeah man it, it wasn't that bad of putting it in as long as you have the right extensions and uh and uh sockets you'll be fine um it took me like probably like 20 minutes not even 20 minutes probably like 15 minutes to put them in um, it's actually not that hard actually to put it in from the front a lot of people complain like there's no space Like my hands pretty big and I was able to have enough room to wiggle it in and all that So yeah, the people who complain that the CMC is the hardest part of the car I can't agree with you that thing was pretty pretty like easy pretty cake But now I'm gonna install the CMC Emmy the clutch master not the clutch master the clutch slave and Yeah, um, what you guys are gonna do? We're gonna take off this fitting, put the banjo fitting, one oil ring on the top, one oil ring on the bottom, well, carpet fitting, and then just lube up this a little bit, and then just put it back in the car. That's really it, bro. This is really it. All 
All right, so clutch slave is in, mounted up, looking good. This has enough free play. So I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna mount it. Well, zip tie, I'll probably zip tie right here. So like it won't move as much. And then I'll probably do another zip tie somewhere down here. Probably zip tie to this line. Well, this connection, actually not, nah, that's a bad idea. I might zip tie it. I don't know, I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna zip tie it, but everything is looking good so far. Um, everything's mounted in. I gotta make sure my bleeder valve is working. Well, I'm pretty sure it's working. All right guys, so what I have to do now before I even get to drive the car or even bleed the clutch is I have to adjust the pedal because uh, with a start clutch, I think will be perfectly fine. Oh, actually with a start clutch, it's supposed to show five threads. The same thing with an aftermarket clutch. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna explain that whole process. I'm probably hop on a GoPro because it's easier for me to show you guys. And plus my camera's about to die. So yeah, I'm gonna let this camera just sit right here. So it will dial me and hop on a GoPro. Alright guys, so this is how you're gonna adjust your clutch pedal. You can remove this side piece, the side panel that's right here. It's pretty easy, pretty easy to remove, but you're gonna need, I believe, a 16th and a 14th. If not, just grab them. Just grab a just grab a 10, 12, 14, 16, and an 18, and just keep them right next to you. So I don't really remember what size uh bolt it is. Well, nut it is, and what you're gonna basically do. Hopefully, you guys can see that put some light so wait push, push pull up there right now all right so what you're gonna do when you have a aftermarket clutch and uh em1 uh master you're gonna show five threads of this so this right here the clutch uh i guess i, I guess this is the the well, when you put your clutch down like you can start the car i guess this was i guess that what it is so what you're gonna do you're gonna have to disconnect this it. gonna be uh clip like i can't really show you guys but there's a clip up there and can you guys see it nah you guys can't see it but yeah it's a clip up there and what you're gonna do you're gonna disconnect it break this nut and then have five threads showing like how i have right there five threads of this once you have five threads showing lock this nut and then now you're gonna move on to the slave i mean to the master so the master is right here the master rod so what you're gonna do, you're basically gonna tighten it until you feel it get tough and then untighten it at least like a half a turn or a, or a full turn, which, which, whichever you wanna do. And once you do that, it should have a little slack to it. You should have like a little pedal play like this. So this is just this is just free play. And then this is me actually pushing in the clutch. Well, the clutch is not bad, but this is the free play of the clutch right now, which is pretty good. It should be like 10 to uh, 18 millimeters. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. So basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna turn that rod, this rod, <laughs> can't really touch it, but the rod that you guys see, I can get the light on it. So that rod, I'll put arrow on it for you guys. You're gonna turn that uh, clockwise, I believe, until it gets tough, and then turn it once, like half a turn counterclockwise. All right, so after you adjust your pedal and your CMC, uh, you can get to bleeding your clutch now. A lot of people do it before they adjust the pedal because like, you know, that's usually when you do it. But I didn't have this kit that my boy Adonis uh, provided for me. Shout out to you Adonis, go follow him on Instagram at DonFB6. Uh, he let me borrow his uh, his brake bleeder kit, but he also could use it for the clutch. Uh, he said he got it from Harbor Freight for like $20 and I didn't feel like going to Harbor Freight to spend $20 to bleed my clutch. So big shout out to him. Um, he told me that it's one of these two fittings that you attach to the to the line which is right here and you put on your slave and uh you break open the bleeder valve and you just basically pump you basically vacuum and then you make sure that your your clutch fuel your clutch fluid doesn't run low because if it does you have to redo the whole process because now it's just sucking in air so yeah man this is a setup hopefully you guys can see that pretty simple setup uh i know a lot of people could make this themselves i seen a video of a guy who had uh a glass bottle with like a metal cap on top and all he did was drill two holes in top and put two uh three sixteens lines inside and zip tied it and it like like sealed it with glue and stuff and attached a little vac a vacuum bleeder to the other side and that was his five dollar bleeder so 
yeah, you guys can make this at home, or you guys can just go to Hopper Free and purchase one, or you can do the long and hard way, pause, whole lot of pause. You can do it that way, and uh, just have a friend and have them, you know, bleed the clutch, well, pump the clutch as you break it and close it, and yada, yada, yada. I didn't want to do that. I tried it, and uh, yeah, it was taking too long, and I, I, time is of essence. Time is of essence? Time. Time. Bro, it was just taking too long, bro. I needed the clutch to be bleed like since last week, but nah. It's been like two days since I had the CMC in, and I just haven't bled it, so let's get to bleeding. Also, also I didn't bleed because it kept raining. And look at today. Today actually looked nice. It's not that bad. It's hot. But it's not raining, so yeah. Let's get on to doing that. should be pretty easy. I always say that, and it ends up being like the super hardest thing I ever did in my life. But yeah, it should be pretty easy, so let's get doing it. Let's get doing, let's get to it. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that. Or it's bubbling. Hopefully you guys can see that. So that's all the air that's basically coming out. So what I gotta do, I have to make sure that is not going too low. So yeah, it's gonna be here for a while just bubbling just like that. That's all the air, dang, bro. And I'm supposed to bleed this with, with one person? Five minutes later. All right, guys, so Dusty is now finished bleeding. She feels amazing. I can't wait to give it a good rip. I have like 300 miles left to put on this clutch before I actually could give it a good rip. Cause you know, that's a break in process that uh, Action Clutch, action clutch uh, recommends. So I'm gonna do it just in case, you know, just in, just, yeah, just because they tell me to do it, I'm gonna do it. But yeah, I can't wait, bro. She feels good. Like the difference from the stock CMC to the EM1, hybrid M1 is like light like night and day bro it feels great so if you're looking to go get one definitely go get one use my code Zuvi get save you some money I don't really know how much percent it will save you but I know it will save you some money so go do it stay tuned for some new videos I am gonna be doing like a POP drive and explaining like my feelings and how I feel about the action stage 3 clutch and the M1 but until then stay tuned for the next video your boys out peace